Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wednesday, eighteen May two zero one six. This is a case of a skin disease in uh, spaniel cross what? Cross. Uh, cocker spaniel and uh, and cocker spaniels uh, cavalier and poodle. Uh, three crosses, female, spade, five years old. No, according to the owner, there was no skin disease before spaying, right? Mm, okay. Which is definitely true. Yes. And then she spayed the dog around uh, February, February 2013. The time, that time, how old was the dog? Two, one, this dog two, was one, one and a half years old. Uh, so she spayed the dog around one and a half years old. And then after that, according to her, all the skin disease come out. Right. Mm, yes. And that time she got ear, ear disease. Yeah. Oh, don't have. Don't have. Don't have. Huh? No. Not even a bit. No. No. I don't remember. Any, any scratching like that? Don't Coming have. back. Okay. No. So according to the owner, so it's, it's due to after spaying, the the skin diseases come out, and uh, so they was treated by uh, uh, two or three vets or four vets. Anyway, the oh. main uh, for so the main complaint from her is that. The skin problem doesn't resolve uh, after treatment. Uh. It's been treated with antifungus, antibiotics, and steroids. So there was no uh, no permanent cure. Okay. So now we have a look at the dog now. Now the, the dog is eating and drinking. Yes. Normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spoons and urine. Yes, fine. Also normal. Okay. Now we look at this dog now at as of today. Uh. Now you can see a few things. Okay, now this this one is what we call the spectacle eyes. You can zoom in here, the spectacle eyes, because it looks like it's wearing spectacles, huh? And this side so. Now how long has this spectacle eyes been going on? It comes and goes off. Rubbing, uh. It comes and goes off. Okay. It was actually okay for a little while. Mm -hmm. Zoom on really? Okay. How long is that? You don't know. I mean recently, I mean how long? A few months already. No, three weeks. Three weeks I think I went to see a doctor. Huh? Rubbing the eyes, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. Okay. So okay, I've never seen her rub the, her eyes before. You've never seen her rub in your absence? I've never seen her rub her eyes. Yeah, so otherwise, this thing wouldn't be hairless. Uh. Yeah. But now, this is one of the uh, causes of spectacle eyes. It's one of the causes, uh, but it's not the, the only cause. These are uh, the take mics. Uh. Okay, this one. Now, the, the second one, this is from my old Glasgow professors in the old days. Uh. The other side of the uh, demodectic mics is the elbow. Uh. The elbow, you can see that they are inflamed and uh, hairless two elbows. But this, this doesn't mean that it's dermatitic mites. Uh, and uh, and dermatitic mites, uh, you do a skin scraping, it, you're bound to see, but not, it's not 100% you're guaranteed to see. Okay, so this is one possibility. Now, the other possibility is because she said after spaying, the dog has this problem. So, so most likely, it's a hormonal deficiency. Uh, that means the ovary, the ovarian hormones had been uh, been uh, taken off because of the spin. So in theory, in theory, you replace the hormones. The dog has this no problem really, and and then she doesn't have to bother. But then it has to be a permanent uh, hormonal replacement. So this is the second one. Now the third possibility, of course, the the owner didn't uh, really clean the ears. You didn't clean the ears, right? No, I wanted to show you what it looks like. No, I mean. So yes, I do. I do. I clean and I pull the hair also. Oh, it's painful. You can see it's painful. Mm. So if the ears is painful, it's, it's very I painful. Uh. So this mm. this shows that the whole ear canal is ulcerated and uh, infected. Now, what is the cause? Of course, the actual cause we we, we don't know. It could be part of the allergy. Uh. Uh, that's why she was talking about allergies, sensitivity now. Now when, when the dog has allergies or sensitivity, the ears definitely inflamed and also the paw biting. Paws are very itchy. The paws are itchy, right? Mm, yes. The paws are itchy. Okay, at one stage she did actually chew her paws. She chews it, but not not, yeah, not so, for the past year though. Yeah, so 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 it could be due to the uh, the development of allergies. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now okay, so this is number three. Uh, so number three is uh, part of the uh, allergies, hypersensitivity, they call it uh, atopic dermatitis. So number four, number four will be of course uh, generalized infection, yeast, fungus and bacteria which the other vets have given uh, 
and the fungus and antibiotics and according to the owner it did recover right but not permanently right it did huh? recover after giving the antifungus and the bacteria, I did recover and, and the steroid also. Okay, so, yeah. uh, so it's not a permanent recovery. Uh. So now the, the owner wants is a permanent recovery. Now we see, come return upside down. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we see the below. Uh. No, I just see the below. Show, show the below. Come. Okay, now, now you can see the below partner. This one is it shaved by you? Yes, I shaved by you. Mm, okay, this is in frame of the hook between the chest and, and the neck. Right, so in frame. Now, now, now this uh, skin skin problem in many dogs, uh, many dogs is due to the ear being uh, very painful and itchy. So the dog will traumatize himself and the neck by scratching like that. Uh. So no. that's why there is no permanent cure because because of the ear has not been resolved. So if the owner yeah. cannot resolve the ear, then the dog. After antibiotics, you see on stretching and damaging the, the 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 neck and the skin. Uh. So the more they damage, does it stretch the head also? Yes. Like that, uh. ah. So so many owners don't understand. So actually the problem is the ear. Ear. Now in floppy ear dogs, they, they don't have uh, ventilation because it's covered every day. Uh, so so in theory. And in practice, actually, there's a surgery to open up the ear canal. Once you open up the ear canal, there's ventilation because you cut out the the side wall. You cut the side wall, mm -hmm. and this whole whole ear will be opened up. You become like our human ears, where there's ventilation, and they won't trap any water or or dirt. So in that case, in my experience, many dogs they they feel uh, I mean they recover, they feel very well. But they, they don't need to do this already because the owner can access the horizontal canal and clean up. But now she can't because it's difficult. Because this vertical canal is uh, causing all the problem. Huh? So so basically, these are the things, demodetic allergy, the ear problem of 40 ear dogs. Because it's a 40 year one. Then uh, the thing is, what she said was, this, this breed has these uh, low platelets. Now low platelets, low platelets, and it's associated with low immunity. So the immune status is low. Of course, it's easily uh, infected, uh, easily infected. So, we, so now we will do a blood test because the one done in Dujuran tree show low platelets, and according to owner, the Kabila King Charles and this uh, cocker right mm -hmm. uh, has a commonly has low platelets, has a breed according to. Uh, friend in uh, the vet in New Zealand. So so there was 2013, but now it's uh, 2016 and no blood has been done. The vets have been prescribing uh, antibiotics, and steroid and antifungus. Okay, so now, now now we do the blood test and then I would like to do a, a babesia smear because these uh, parasites, babesia, does uh, cause low platelets as well as uh, the immunity, uh, low immunity. So this is the thing. Then I will get the dog shape board, check for dermatitic mites, uh, check for fungus, and uh, basically, once the the owner will will, will 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 give the dog the treatment, and then after that, I strongly recommend to open up the ear canal so that there is ventilation and they solve the dog. Uh, one problem for the ear pain and itchiness and the rubbing of the eyes, the neck due to arthritis external, uh, chronic, it's chronic, it's quite long, how many years already? Three, three. three years of scratching uh. and uh, many owners are not aware because probably years, this one is a very common problem uh, because there's no ventilation, it's always covered up every day in Singapore it's hot and humid, it's even worse okay, so uh, so this is the plan uh. Uh, do skin scraping to check for the index, uh, blood test to check for the platelets again. Babesia smear, blood smear, uh, clipboard, and check for fungus. And basically, uh, the owner is not aware, but actually, the, the, the cure, or at least part of the cure, is the lateral ear canal resection to open up the ear canal. And uh, 
the other possibility of course is the hormones of black leg of hormones due to uh, early uh, not early spaying but due to spaying but uh, this may be the, the, the one of the reasons so actually but then it has nothing to do with the ears the ears itself is part of the breed the floppy ear breed very commonly have cr uh, chronic ear problems <coughs> and unfortunately the dog always stretch like that <coughs> and damage itself <coughs> much more see some of them stretch the neck also and rub the eyes <coughs> so so this one is soft this one is probably a lot of uh, relief from from scratching really okay so that's what we are doing now okay it's finished so, so